My name is Aliyah Kapili and I'm a 19-year-old classically trained singer. If you would like to get to know more about me, please follow me on my Instagram at Aliyah Kapili and on my TikTok at Aliyah.Kapili. Feel free to check out my Facebook page as well at Aliyah Louise Kapili. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone for all your support. I really appreciate it. Today, I'll be reacting to Mexican singer Luis Miguel for the very first time. And I will be reacting to his song La Bikina. And just judging from the title, I am very excited and intrigued to know what this song is about. So with that being said, now on to the action! Quick disclaimer, I am nowhere near an expert as I still have a lot of things to learn. Me reacting is just a way for me to appreciate the singer's talent based on the knowledge I have so far. It's also a way for me to learn new things. que tiene una pena dicen que tiene una pena que la hace llorar altanera preciosa y orgullosa no permiten la quieran consolar pasa luciendo su real majestad pasa el camino a los míos sin verlos jamás I love how this song starts with high energy right away and I love how this song has a joyful mood to it. It definitely makes me very cheerful right from the start. And a technique I noticed that he really uses is he clearly uses a very open mouth position. You, you can see that right from the start. I got curious right from the start, so I wanted to check out the lyrics. So I am checking out the translated version of the lyrics, and it goes like, Alone walks the bikina, which is a made up word which means woman wearing a bikini. And people start murmuring, they say she has a sorrow, they say she has a sorrow that makes her cry. Oh, interesting. I actually did not expect those kind of lyrics just based on hearing the song in the start as I was saying oh it's a, such a joyful song it definitely makes me cheerful I definitely interpreted it a bit wrongly and wow it just shows how lyrics are so important and I am curious to hear more now of the song <laughs> Dicen que alguien ya vino y se fue Dicen que pasa las noches llorando por él ¡Mi mariachi! Sorry for stopping right there. I promise I will replay it back so we can hear the mariachi play. I am just reading the lyrics right now and from my interpretation so far, like the lyrics suggest, it's about this haughty, beautiful, and proud woman. But unfortunately, she doesn't know love and she's clearly longing for someone, as they say, she spends her nights crying for him. So it's pretty sad. It's pretty uh, sad for this woman. And like I said before, I did not expect these lyrics based on the instrumental alone. But it makes sense because this song is not sung in the perspective of the woman. It's sung by someone um, else's perspective on her. 
And I think that sort of perspective is pretty cool in the song. Then something I want to point out is, like I said before, he uses an open map position, but specifically he uses a very north and south map position, especially in the section we just heard. And in classical singing or in opera, we would also use a north and south position as it really helps us project and it helps us sing with power. And we can clearly hear that Luis has a powerful voice and he is definitely projecting his voice very well. And I would like to say that that sort of north to south open mouth position uh, helps him or that's what I believe what helps him achieve that. <laughs> When he was vocalizing or improvising or doing ad libs with the Marachi band, I am really sorry if I'm using the wrong terms. Please correct me in the comments. But I just find it really cool when he was just singing along freely with the Marachi band. I want to hear that part again. <laughs> I love the harmonies from the Marachi band and I'm so sorry, I have to say it again about mat position. I know I've been saying that a lot in this video, but I just noticed that he really uses mat position in his singing. And that's a great technique to use for sure. And I just wanted to point out is that in, especially in the beltier parts, he would use more of a west to east mat position when he's singing those belts and that really helps to have the bright belt sound or the forward sound I believe and in other of the parts he would do more of a north and south position and the difference between the north to south map position and the west to east map position I would say a west to east map position definitely helps more with the beltier parts so it makes sense why he would uh, change his mouth positions when he is singing with different techniques and I just wanted to point it out because he uses great technique as a singer and I really admire that I love how you can see him having fun performing this song and I had so much fun watching him perform this song so that's the end of the video! I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye, friends!